Like when I say I used to always wear lipstick and lip gloss and like all the time, like I was wearing it all the time. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Seeming. Do you see me? Because I see you, boo. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to be discussing my lip neutralization update. Hello, my name is Linda Seamy. I make beauty, skincare, lifestyle videos. Definitely make sure that you subscribe and you like and you comment and all those fantastic things. But today, we're going to be discussing my lips. Yes, I know I'm wearing lipstick right now and lip gloss, but I'm going to be showing you my results towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. I'm going to be discussing my update. So let's get into it let me just let me catch my breath those of you that don't know about two years ago over two years ago i actually got my lips neutralized now, if you don't know what lip neutralization is it's basically a process where they even out your top lip and your bottom lip so that your look your lips look even as a black woman we have a lot of hyperpigmentation all around of our body and sometimes that could be seen on our lips too for my case i had a dark top lip and also some pigmentation on the bottom lip i will show you guys pictures and videos as i'm discussing like i did in the first video pause this video go and watch that video come back and continue this one because i'm sharing some tea i'm giving you guys all the information that you need i want you guys to be able to watch this video and get all the information that you need like there's no need to go elsewhere of course definitely do your research in whichever country you're getting this treatment but i definitely want to be that person who gives you as much detail as possible and also provides you with proof evidence and pictures and videos just so that i can paint the whole picture for you so i've got the questions here on my phone and let's just get into it because this is going to be a two-year update but i just want to take you guys a little bit backwards like okay cool so what motivated you to get the lip neutralization treatment so like i said in the beginning I've suffered with black lips all my life. I always used to wear lipstick and lip gloss. I just always wanted to cover up my lips. And I kind of wanted to change that to be more confident and be happier. I kind of wanted to, not kind of, I wanted to change that. So um, in 2021, I actually did some research and I found this clinic uh, that was able to do my lip neutralization treatment. And she was fantastic. She's amazing. Like I said, check out my first video to find out where I went. So the main part of this video is basically the, the long-term results so it's been about two years a few things that i have noticed is that my lips although they are pink i've seen some slight reversing in terms of the fact that i think at the beginning when i shared my results it was quite fresh so my lips were quite fresh and like you know the color was really really pigmented um so i have experienced some darkening i wouldn't say a significant amount it's just a teeny 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 teeny, teeny tiny bit of, of darkening which you guys will see i'll put side by side pictures or videos of when i showed you guys how my lip looks like looked like in the first video versus how they look like today in terms of maintenance and aftercare so things that i have been doing i haven't been doing anything out of the ordinary to be quite honest with you guys one thing that i'm so 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 naturally good at is always keeping my lips moisturized I have dry lips, I'm always with my Vaseline or my Carmex or whichever whichever tool that I'm using. Like I've literally got petroleum jelly here that I just dip into if I'm not wearing um, a lip gloss or lipstick. So I always keep my lips hydrated, always. I do a lip scrub here and there, but nothing, nothing frequent at all. I'm not someone who frequently like has like a maintenance or a lip routine like i'm being so so honest with you guys i don't have a lip routine so are you satisfied with the results of your lip neutralization treatment absolutely i'm really satisfied with this like guys i am so satisfied that like, i can't even begin to imagine how i was living my life before this because like when i say i used to always wear lipstick and lip gloss and like all the time like i was wearing it all the time but now it's just literally i'm wearing vaseline so i'm just super super happy that i'm able to just be more confident in myself and i actually have been thinking about going back for round two however not at the same clinic i'm looking into some other clinics um, that are nearer to where i live so i'm looking into that and i've contacted about three clinics that are willing to do this treatment for me and this time instead of a lip neutralizer it will be a lip tattoo because the lip neutralization part is basically to even out your your lips for example if you're someone with pink lips already for example let's say a white woman a caucasian woman with pink lips already but she kind of wants like more of a red tone uh, lip 
then she would opt for the lip tattoo instead of getting the lip neutralizing because the neutralizing just makes sure that the two lips are same color ish the top and the bottom lip so i'm actually thinking about going back to get like an official color on my lips like a really 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 nice mauve pink that will suit my skin tone I'm really excited to to do that in the future so i'm really happy about that so i would definitely say that i am satisfied more than satisfied like this is something that i 100 percent recommend like you guys will see i'll show you my lips in a second i know you want to see them i will show you them in a second let me just get through these questions and then we'll get there how has the treatment impacted your confidence or self-perception i did touch on this just, just now i just feel more confident and comfortable in my skin like as someone who has body confident issues acne issues like i'm all there's always something that i'm concerned about so for me this is like one less concern although it's not perfect and it doesn't look the way that i want it to look i feel like this is like one less concern and for me i just want to i just kind of want to do whatever i need to do to make sure that i'm always confident like it doesn't mean that i'm going to go out and get surgeries all the time or anything like that but if there is a treatment that can help me feel more confident i'm definitely here for it and i did touch on it in my first video where i kind of said that like whatever whatever you need to do to make you happy like go out and do it and by no means am i saying in this video that you should go out and get your lips neutralized or get a lip tattoo or anything if your lips are fine and you're comfortable and even if you're not fine and you're not comfortable um this is just like my experience because i feel like there was a lack of um representation in this area i feel like i didn't see a lot of videos from women my color expressing what their experience was like getting this treatment i didn't even know that i could get this treatment myself so just the fact that i've been able to do it and i've had positive results it makes me really happy and i'm really really hoping that this video can help one of you guys or anyone like watching this um to get more of an understanding and also to see that it's possible like as a black woman you can get your lips neutralized and it, it's gonna be fine you know the next question is would you recommend lip neutralization to others the answer is yes but please do your research please do your research i would recommend this if you want to get this done i'm not saying you should again but if i was to recommend if i was asked if i would recommend this treatment or not i absolutely would what advice do you have for someone considering this treatment okay so if you are considering this treatment number one i would always advocate 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 yeah it's advocate right i would always advocate for number one always doing your research and definitely like contact multiple clinics multiple clinics don't just stick to one person get different quotes get different prices also be prepared for the post results because the post period is where like you're thinking uh did I get the right treatment? Like, what's going on here? Because you do experience some darkening of the lips afterwards. I would say be prepared for the... <laughs> I would definitely say be prepared for how your lips are going to look afterwards. Like, mentally, mentally prepare yourself. Because when I got mine done, it was during pandemic and you still had to wear masks. So I was lucky enough where I could cover my lips and didn't have to show them. But I know nowadays, like, masks are not really a thing. But if you want to wear a mask, definitely wear a mask um, to protect your lips. Because I know that period for me was like... I wasn't anxious, but I just couldn't go out. I couldn't be on FaceTime because I was just embarrassed about how my lips looked. I couldn't, there were there were a few things I couldn't do. Um, I don't remember how long the downtime was, but I believe at, at least a week, up to two weeks. Yeah, I think it was up to two weeks, 14 days. Um, I'll double check it and let you guys know and put it in the video. But yeah, mentally prepare yourself because that downtime girl, it could be hefty. Share any unexpected surprises or challenges you face during or after the treatment. I didn't actually experience any challenges like during. Like I said before, like I just felt like, you know, limited to the things that I could do. Couldn't go out, couldn't drink water in the first 24 hours. I couldn't FaceTime. I could, obviously I chose not to because my lips looked awful. I do remember though, the first time I got the treatment done, I was literally that same day, there was a party that I was invited to so it's quite hard switching off to like not being able to drink water so quickly so I think I ended up like accidentally drinking something but through a straw so it was okay but yeah just prepare yourself you'll be more than fine just to close off I'm gonna grab a baby wipe that I have here and I'm gonna zoom you guys in and I'm gonna show you my lips okay so hey guys I'm very much close up in your business let's get rid of So as you can see, my lips are bare. 
these are my results and i low-key i changed my mind like i low-key feel like they look like the, what they look like in the first video but i still have the problem where the insides of my lips are a lot pinker than the rest and i kind of i don't want all of my lips to be this pink but i just wanted to go away i don't know how it's going to be done but yeah when i tell you the treatment is worth it the treatment is worth it okay go spend your okay no don't go spend your coin but go spend your coin if you want to okay yeah guys those were my lips as you can see they look fantastic i am in love with the results um like i said i'm gonna go back for another treatment i feel like if i'm looking at my lips now close up i would want more pink in my top lip for sure more pink in my top lip and also i want to sort out the the small patches of discoloration towards my bottom lip but other than that girl it's so cute and what i love just 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 watch i've got i've got you guys here what i love that i can do i could just put vaseline on and my lips look fantastic this is just vaseline never been able to do this and feel comfortable never and then another thing i could just use a dark lip liner dark lip liner all over the lips and just rock my natural skin like just rock my natural lip shade like do you guys understand how this has changed my life like i don't think you do i don't think you do no lipstick no nothing just a lip liner and vaseline where did you get it i'm sure most of you guys are looking at me like you're crazy because that's me normally i've never experienced this so let me live in my glory like obviously now i'm gonna put some lip gloss on that was it that's the end of my video so definitely definitely let me know if you have more questions down below please feel free to share your experience as well i know there were a lot of you guys that had booked your treatments following my video and like were telling me in the comments that you loved my video and it was so helpful and i'm really thankful for you guys for checking in and watching my video and actually getting some information and finding it useful i'm so happy about that and that's all i pray for and wish for so yeah share your experience down down in the comment section let me know if you've got any more questions uh, but yeah like i said just to run off this video i do recommend this treatment again i'm not saying that you should go out and get this treatment it's something that i wanted to do for myself for a very long time it's given me confidence it's made me happy and i'm here for whatever makes anyone happy so i can never argue with that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye from my juicy pink lips what you talking about